are we? Oh, we're in the hottest place on earth. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> It was so cold out that we had to come back to the van and eat. Loading up. That's a real bro that's willing to drain our tanks for us into his little honey pot. Thanks, John. Okay. When I get the trailer, I'll send you a picture of his hitch. We chose the hottest day in Spokane's history to bid farewell to family, to the scab lands of Eastern Washington, and to the steady stream of Montana and Wyoming's westbound coal trains. We were heading toward cooler weather, but not before stopping in what might have been the hottest place in America that day, Hermiston, Oregon. But it was worth it to meet up with our friends, Anna and Dave, and enjoy lunch at an old fashioned drugstore counter. To keep the contents of our van from melting, we plugged in at their house and turned on the AC. The twins. Bobka and Butchka, the twins! <laughs> What do you call this? The butterscotch? It's a butterscotch pie parfait with cookies on top. Oh. With a butterscotch, oatmeal butterscotch cookies. How many calories? There's no calories, there's no carbs. And <laughs> Oh, we're in the hottest place on earth. Whoa. Whoa. It's <laughs> we went from the frying pan into the fire. It was a low, I don't know, what was it in Spokane? 108? We decided to come where it's 10 degrees hotter. And uh, let's see, this is called whoa. Uh, it's just Deschutes. A mist. Yeah, this is called Deschutes River State Recreation. There you go. Thanks, John. I don't know if she's playing dodgeball with the sprinklers, but one way to get a little wet. This is the place where the Oregon Trail crossed the hazardous Deschutes River. Ruts from the wagons can still be seen across the river. It is 72 degrees, it's 5 a.m. John's gone off to shower. And uh, we're gonna hit the road and head over to the coast where we understand it's gonna be in the mid 60s. We had a great time visiting with Dave and Anna yesterday, and she gave us some some uh, food that I want to show you before we consume it all. She bought a freeze dryer not too long ago and has been freeze drying all kinds of things. But she gave us these cherries, which are absolutely delicious, and they're not going to last very long. They're just they're really tasty. 
and Walla Walla onions. Now, if you know anything about onions, Walla Wallas are sweet onions. They're really good. You can only get them kind of in this area. And then these uh, strawberries, I haven't opened these yet, but I'm going to open it up and give it a try. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that is great. We're not gonna last very long. We'll probably eat them before we get to Portland. Today's plan is to try to miss some of the traffic going through Portland. We're gonna go to Tillamook and then head south to Florence where we have two nights. Luckily, John was able to get two nights and the temperature should be in the mid 60s. So we're looking forward to some cooler weather. At campground was particularly noisy and I don't know what the rules are, but some train conductors honk their horn and you just wanted to crawl out of your skin. It was so loud. And then others didn't. And so I, I just, I thought, well, maybe they don't like campers. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. If you guys know what the reason is behind some honking and some not. So let's clean up from breakfast at this nice rest stop. What is this called? Uh, it's next, it's near some state park. Melrose, I don't know what it was called. What were the temperatures yesterday? Oh man, wow, it was hot. The, uh, the air conditioner just could not keep up. It was uh, 100, and we hit a high of 123. The campground itself, when we got there, was 115. Underneath the car was 129, because I have that, that uh, thermometer under there. And, uh, and even driving yesterday, the Mercedes uh, air conditioner couldn't keep up, so we were still sweating. I think uh, 100 is maybe our limit. We don't want to go anywhere over 100 degrees, which is why we're heading to the coast where it'll be half the temperature. Half, 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 yes. Yeah. I don't want to get here early. Wow, that's a lot of cheese. And of course, they dump you into the store. It was so cold out that we had to come back to the van and eat. What a difference a day makes. The Oregon coast is not unlike the California coast. Small beach communities, rugged and windswept vistas, and plenty of pullouts to take in the cool, salty Pacific Ocean. But there is at least one thing that, in my opinion, Oregon does better than any other state. They have fabulous state parks and campgrounds. We must have passed at least a dozen on our way to our destination, which was the Jesse Honeyman Memorial State Park in Florence. Honeyman Campground has over 400 campsites, half with hookups and plenty of space between you and your neighbor. The main attraction is the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area. We spent most of the day parked at Hasita Head Lighthouse. You can hike the mile up to the lighthouse or just enjoy a quiet day at the beach editing a video.
the view from my picture window. And then there's my view of the front. <laughs> Not so pretty. Trailer trash. <laughs> and the beach right there. But you can't see it because of the screen. There we go. Kind of. Oh, we're laughing because I just finished this little short video and <laughs> looks a bit of a mess back here. Got some cleaning up to do. But we are done here at, what's the name of this place? <laughs> Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. <laughs> Hetchy Hetchy Reservoir. Something head light. No, Hasita. Hasita Head Lighthouse. Is that what it's called? Well, Edith had won all those Academy Awards. <laughs> <laughs> but what a beautiful spot to, to spend a few hours editing. This is great. We have been two nights at the Jesse Honeyman Campground in Oregon. And at the risk of making a few people angry, I'm just going to say that Oregon has the best state park campgrounds in the country. They also have the best beach access. And it seems like every half mile there's a turnoff or some place where you can get out and walk, get in the view. It's just a beautiful spot to come and camp. You could spend weeks here. But it was great to get away from the heat for a couple days and now we're kind of going back into the frying pan so we can meet up with a viewer some of you may recall from previous videos and uh, he's gonna kind of share some of the things he's done with his van since we last met about a year ago here's a banana slug let me give it some scale here pretty big sucker <laughs> 